Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Unity navigation system and how to make a character just walk along the nav mesh wherever you click just like this. Alright, let's get started. Alright, to build this sample I pulled in this Mega Fantasy Props Pack from the Asset Store. It's free, you can grab it and work along or pick something else, whatever you prefer. And I've opened up this castle wireframe scene that's inside. It's just a castle with a big area, lots of grass out here. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do though is just get all of this kind of cleaned up. Right now everything's in the root, so I'm just going to go in and create an empty game object, name it environment, select everything, unselect environment, and then just make everything a child. Um, I also need to rip out the con current controller. There's an FPS controller in here. I think you can see it right here. And that's for running around the map and just looking at stuff. That's not what we want to do, so I'm just going to pull it out. All right, next I want to bake the navigation mesh. You can see I've got the navigation area open right here. That's just available under Window, Navigation. It'll pop this thing right up. So I want to bake a nav mesh, but before I can do that, I need to set what things are actually used in the nav mesh. If I hit bake right now, nothing happens. So to do that, I just go over to the inspector, and then on the little static drop-down, I'm going to pick navigation static. Let me pull this over a little. There you go, pick navigation static, just like that. And then I'm going to hit yes, go ahead and change children. Drag that back out. Now if I go back to the navigation window and hit bake, you'll see it's exporting and lots of blue show up. Right, so all of the blue areas are areas where our navigation system can walk on. Now, I don't really want them walking on the roof of these buildings and uh, other random spots. I really just want them walking on this one plane. So to change that, what I'm going to do is just select the plane. And if you look here, if I select the object section, it's set to walkable. That's good. That's what we want for the plane. We don't want it for everything else, though. So what I'm going to do is just select everything, unselect the environment, root, and unselect the plane. Where'd that plane go? There you go. Unselect the plane and probably unselect the light. And then I'm going to change the navigation area to not walkable. Now if I go back to the bake tab and hit bake, you'll see that the, the plane is walkable and these rooftops aren't. Now if I didn't set these building parts to nav mesh static, what would happen is this plane right here would continue right underneath them and it would have the characters just walking into the wall. It's not what we want at all. Alright, so now let me show you how to get set up with a character that walks around and moves. To do that, I'm going to create a new character. It's just going to be a cylinder, or a capsule. Make him a capsule, there we go. Got our capsule character. Get him right up about here. And now I want to add a couple components to him. First, he needs a nav mesh agent. So this is a component that's built into Unity, and it just controls how a character moves and walks and navigates. Next, I want to add a custom script that I've created, a nav mesh click controller. What this is going to do is read the clicks from our mouse and then tell the nav mesh agent where to go. Let's open that up and take a quick look. So here you can see we just have an update method where we check to see if fire one is pressed, so that's the control or left click on the mouse. If it is clicked, we do a raycast from the mouse position's screen point we turn that into a ray, and we do the raycast right here. And if it hits anything, we just call get component to the nav mesh agent, and then we tell the nav mesh agent to set its destination to the point. Now, this isn't perfect; it's not ideal. If we're clicking on a rooftop or something, it's going to tell the nav mesh agent to hey, go to that rooftop. Since it can't get there, there's no way to do it. It's really just not going to do anything. We'd probably in a bigger game want to do some layer masking here, but and keep it simple for now. So with that added on, if I hit play, see, we actually don't have a camera set up. So what I did is since I deleted that FPS camera, is just create a new camera here. So go into camera and we're gonna do, or game object, create and camera. And then let's move it to about where we want it, somewhere behind this character. And then I'm actually gonna parent it to the capsule. So it's a child of the capsule, it's a child of that thing, so as that character moves around the camera will follow. One other thing we need to do though is change the tag on this camera to main camera. 
And that's because if you look back at this code, we're calling the camera dot main dot screen point array without the main camera tag here. This is just going to return null. All right, let's hit play. And we'll walk around. I'm going to pull these side by side so you can see the navigation. Oh, there we go. I've already clicked something. If I open up the navigation tab, you'll see the nav mesh right there. And you can see he's just walking along that nav mesh. Oh, there we go. Let's get him through the gate at least. So those are kind of the basics to get started for navigation. There's a lot more you can do. You can do things like a link between different nav meshes, have characters jump, set up different speeds for different areas. Um, you can even tilt them to different angles, have them be upside down if you want with some of the newer stuff. So yeah, give navigation system a try. It's pretty awesome. It's super simple to get started with and uh, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe.